Um, I was asked to write a poem that was loosely based on Psalm 139. And this is kind of like a common psalm, I think. I've been studying it for a long time throughout Sunday school. So it was hard for me to find something specifically to write it about. But when I was reflecting on it, I was interested to see that the meaning changed and the words didn't. So I think probably what changed is my perspective on it. So I decided to title this poem, Perspectacles. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Emily, a child of God. And now that we're properly acquainted, let's talk about how us humans tend to make what's simple, complicated. So if you're human like me and you struggle with this issue, it's your lucky day. I have a product I can sell you that'll take the problem right away. Now, before any of you start to flip tables or begin to get skeptical, the selling I'm doing is merely figurative. And the product is perspectacles. They're just like any other glasses, but are prescribed with perspective. And I'll warn you, they might feel a bit funny at first because they're bifocals and their lenses are corrective. <laughs> what makes these glasses so special is that they change your point of view. They help you to see God more clearly and take some of the focus off of you. Why would anyone want those is what most of you are probably thinking. You're just lucky I'm wearing mine so I can see God's up there winking. He's winking because he knows that I know that you don't know what you're seeing is shaded by darkness that keeps you and grace from meeting. These perspectacles help us to see that we are never out of God's sight no matter the circumstances, because even in darkness, he sees light. He knows how wondrous we are, oh wait, sorry, <laughs> no matter the circumstances, because even in darkness, he sees light. Regardless of what we've done or how others have treated us, he loves us the same he has searched the depths of our heart and knows it was created in his name. He knows how wondrous we are, both in body and in soul, and admires his creation. And with just a dose of his perspective, we can join in on the celebration. However, there is a catch, collateral if you will. The cost to erase our human-like mindset we must pay in his currency. It's what we like to call grace. Once we see like he does, familiar with everyone's nights and days, it will be impossible to ignore the fact that his spirit is being portrayed through them just as much as it is through us, just in complicated ways. And to be honest, the ways are pretty simple, just not enough for me and you. Even with 2020 vision, we can't begin to comprehend what God has made true. We can't see that no matter how bitter the winter or just how rainy is the spring, every season serves its purpose. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Sometimes it's hard to see God's love that can never be taken away and that no thought, no action, nobody can change his grace for you. But if that idea is still a bit blurry, it's okay. All you need to know is that behind your blurry, God sees it all quite clear. We are all his precious, significant children who serve a purpose being here. <laughs>